Hello everyone, and welcome to a short episode of Geometry Nodes in 3.0. Today, we will be making this wavy grass effect. So, to start out, let's have a nice fresh scene, make a plane, and set the scale to 2. Now, what we want to do is add some points to these faces. There we go, the Distribute Points on Faces node. Let's set the density to something around... Uh, 150, that seems about right. And then move this over here. Then what we want to do is use the instance on points node, and then use a mesh primitive, in this case the cone, as our instanced object. As we could see here, if I lower the uh, radius by a good amount, yeah, that seems pretty good. We now have these cylinders that are pa uh, facing straight up. Let's set the vertices to something like 8, just to lower it a little bit. Now let's add in a random value. There we go. And input that into the scale input. As we can see, uh, let's set the minimum to something like 0.4. Yes, that seems quite nice. Next, what we are going to do is add in a noise texture. Whoops, noise texture. Very nice. And add in a position as the input position. My typing is not the best. Okay, let's hook that up into there and add an A vector math node so that in the future we could animate this. So let's hook in the output to the rotation and as we could see is offset quite a bit. In order to fix that, let's make a subtract and set it to 0.5. Very nice. Now we can see that the noise is affecting it, but it's not offset to one side. Let's set the scale to 1 and the detail to 0. As we can see, we're already getting a sort of flowy pattern. But what we need to do next is animate it. So over here, select this and input hashtag frame. This will give us the current frame data. Then divide it by 24 to slow it down a bit. And if we play this animation, we are already getting this very nice wavy grass effect. Now, in order to make this look a little bit prettier, I'm going to use the set material node for here and select the, hmm, which one is it? Ah, there we go, the orange material. Very, very nice. As we can see, the effect is pretty much done, but what we want to do is get a little more control over how intense the effect is. So let's add in a scale node, put that in there, and from here, we could change the intensity from not very intense, more of a subtle breeze, to something that is a little more like a hurricane. And yeah, that is basically the entire effect. As always, check out my Twitter, Gumroad, subscribe to my YouTube if you want to, and show me what you make with this. I really enjoy seeing that. If you like the shorter or longer, longer tutorials, please tell me in the comments. And I will see you in the next tutorial.